My name is Keith Robinson, South Philadelphia. I'm a Scorpio. October 23rd, 1994. For me, starting comedy, it was hard. It was all white scene, and all the white guys were giving each other work. Every time I turned, I, I was on the steps, and said, I, I'm here, can I have some work too? <laughs> and they're like, beat it. So I just started my own group, the Comedy Express, and we're going to get our own work. And then we became like a comedy guy, and nobody messed with us. We walk around with satin jackets on. Wanda Sykes was hanging with us, Tony Woods, and everybody knew us. We ruled Philadelphia. The advice I would give to new comics is work hard. Don't go to comedy class. Get on stage. You'll find out what you need to find out by going on stage, bombing and taking a nice foot right in your dumb face. It's good to get a nice, tasty boo every now and again. It was my first TV performance at the Showtime at the Apollo. I bombed my fucking ass off. And I was at a hotel room with a girl. The phone rang. My cousin Phil Robinson called, and he's loud as ever. Keith Robinson, you on the Apollo right now and bombing. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm trying to cover the phone up. She said, let me see it. And she turned it on, and she seen me bomb, and she actually left the room. <laughs> She left and didn't come back. She, I never heard from her again. <laughs> I had a, a stroke, man. I had a stroke. And um, can we slow this music down a little bit? Like I know a nice slow jam. It slowed me down on stage a little bit, but it put me in the pocket more, like a Peyton Manning. I couldn't scramble as much, so I had to stay in the pocket with the, with the jokes. How y'all doing? Joke number one. Joke number two. Oh, shit, here come another punchline for that ass. And nobody feels like, oh, I don't allow that, because that's what it is. I'm still an asshole, so don't feel sorry for me. I'm still going to give it to you, but that soundtrack is a little bit different. Earth with a fire soundtrack. Yeah. Keep that clapping going for Keith Robinson, everybody. Come on, for Keith. <laughs> this girl called me creepy the other day, you know. And I, I, I was up all night. I couldn't even sleep off that shit. I just, uh, I wake up in a cold sweat. I ain't creepy. Who fucking called me? <laughs> It just is bothering me, man. Then I realize I'm not creepy, man. My, I'm just getting older, and my reflexes aren't what they used to be. I used to look at a girl. Before she look at me, I turn away real fast. <laughs> now I just keep looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I watch a lot of crime TV, I love it. You know what I mean? I go to sleep to murder, and I wake up to murder. <laughs> I love murder. <laughs> and I always looked at, right? I always looked at the wife who never knew that her husband was a serial killer. I don't know why I'm looking at you, but I'm saying... <laughs> That always bugged the shit out of me. The wife never knew. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> the fuck out of here. He's coming in at 4 in the morning. That's serial killer hours. You got to know what's going on, damn it. <laughs> if I had a woman that was a serial killer, I would know immediately and I would address that shit. <laughs> man, what the fuck you doing coming at 4.35 a.m.? Where the hell have you been at? Have you been murdering? 